hello friends once again you are most welcome into the world of genetics fine into last lecture we have gone through a law of independent assortment after finishing the uh, dihybrid cross we have also gone through various exceptions uh, which have been shown actually uh, after mendel's work so in so many cases mendel the principle uh, which were given by mendel were not true right so uh, in this lecture we are go we are going to see uh, chapter number 5 uh, that is point number 5.3.2 the chromosomal theory of inheritance right so the first part of uh, the lecture what we are starting is uh, the work what is given or which was shown by mendel was remain unrecognized for longer period of time so why did it happen so there are few reason why it has happened number one communication was not so easy at that time and his work could not be able to be spreaded widely could not be widely publicized so due to lack of communication uh, mendel work was not recognized so this is the reason number one reason number two is what the concept of genes what mendel has said factor as a stable and discrete unit was not at all acceptable right so it was not acceptable that a particular type of unit or particular type of thing that is factor is responsible for inheriting uh, one material right uh, from one generation to the other generation so it would not be able to digested by the other colleagues so mendel could not explain the continuous variation which is seen into the nature so mendel was unable to explain the phenomena reason number 3 is mendel's mathematical approach what we have seen earlier was totally new and hence it is unacceptable he has calculated the percentage the ratios which were completely new at that time and that is why nobody could be able to under uh, understand that the last reason mendel could not provide any physical proof of the existence of factor and this is one of the major factor which is affecting the unrecognition of mendel's work now at the time of mendel there was no technical advancement with reference to experiments so after 19th century that is in 1900 de vries corens and von schenmark independently rediscovered mendel's results so mendel's experiment have been reformed rearranged and they have observed so many different aspect of the same experiments what mendel have done so de vries corens and schermark all of three have done these experiment we already have discussed this portion in earlier lectures fine so please take the screenshot of the slide so later into the chromosomal theory of inheritance what's important to be understood as we discussed in this slide that mendel could not provide any physical proof of existence of factor so he could not show that this is a factor and this is the way it is inheriting from one generation to the other because there was no um uh, physical proof because there was no microscope so we could not be able to see the c uh, or the cellular behavior or the behavior of the chromosome inside this uh, nucleus and nothing else but after the discovery of cell and microscopy 
it is easily possible to recognized to recognize the cellular behavior with respect to cell division and hence we can easily show the mechanism of material which is transferred from one cell to uh, to new baby cells right so in that case first observation have been found by shutton and bowery in 1902 now what they have proposed they have proposed a new theory called chromosomal theory of inheritance so walter shutton and theodore bowery in 902 sorry 1902 they have proposed the theory now what they have stated they have stated that the pairing and segregation of pair of chromosome lead to segregation of pair of factors they carried now what is factor factor is unit of mendel so they have actually proposed that factors are located on chromosome and chromosomes are carrying so many factors and they are actually segregated in the form of chromosome for example uh, into the diagram this is mendelian factors pair of allele capital a and small a one is from mother one is from father for example so what they have proposed for shutton and theodore bowery has proposed the similar thing but into form of the chromosomes so factor number capital a allele capital a from mother which is located on the other chromosome and the factor small a or allele small a is located into the on to the other chromosome which is given by father right so that was highlighted and proven by these two scientist ready so now if suppose uh, uh, the entire discovery was observed under the microscope and postulated so certain united the chromosomal segregation with mendelian principle and called it chromosomal theory of inheritance whatsoever principles which are given by mendel are actually applicable to the chromosomes without fail so they have applied they have united those all rules and principles on in the form of the chromosome and that is how the name is changed and the new name is given chromosomal theory of inheritance ready so it is the same theory but uh, uh, in the uh, in the place or the uh, the name what the mendel have used was factor or allele and in place of factor or allele shutton and bowery used the name chromosome and that is why it is the chromosomal theory of inheritance fine please take the screenshot of the slide then we are moving ahead fine very important statements which are given into the chromosomal theory of inheritance what we see chromosomes are vehicle of heredity now what is that if suppose if i say this is one chromosome and it is having so many factors or genes on them right so gene a b c d f g h i j k 
all the genes are forwarded from one generation to the other in the form of these chromosomes so this chromosome act as a bus or a vehicle on which these genes or factors are traveling from one generation to the other that is why the name is given vehicle of the heredity ready so it is a mean of transfer of gene they are transmitted from parents to offspring and they are immortal they are immortal means they don't destroy themselves once they are made they will be forwarded but not will be destroyed and that is why it is said that it is immortal right number 2 two identical chromosomes with similar gene is getting form and it is called a homologous pair very important discussion uh, now if you remember chapter number 10 of standard 11 a cell cycle we know that g1 is followed by s followed by g2 and at the end of g2 you have mitosis or m now during s phase the genetical content is doubling so biosynthesis of genetic material is seen in s phase so usually our gene used to be singular right in g1 but when it enters s phase then it doubled and the chromosome appears this way what you can see here right so this chromosome actually showing homologous pair why homologous it is the original and this is the copy of it so it is the same it is xerox copy of each other that is why it is called homologous chromosome homo same logos its content right so it appears same that is why it is homologous pair of the chromosome so that is what happened during cell cycle so when cell is dividing first it enters into the cell cycle and genetic material is getting doubled and making the homologous chromosomes now this homologous pair of chromosome is segregated during gamete formation that's what we know right during meiosis meiosis 1 meiosis 2 we know the entire process independent pairs segregate independently of each other how we are going to see into the next slides and chromosomes are mutable mutation which is responsible for producing variation right so chromosomes are mutable they can be mutated how we are going to definitely see into the next lecture or into the next slides so these are the main important uh, postulate of the chromosomal theory of inheritance this is what you are supposed to remember very keenly right so if you see into the diagram homologous pair of the chromosome why they are said to be homologous chromosome look gene of eye color is located at the same place at uh, 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 at any given chromosome gene of enzyme a same location gene of c, cytochrome c same location now in father as well in mother as well 
right so it is called homologous pair of chromosome so this is pair of mother's chromosome this is pair of father's chromosome and that is why they are both homologous in their nature in the structure actually not nature ready so genes which are present on the chromosomes that is the first thing what we are supposed to understand and hence they show similar behaviors right so genes which are present on the same chromosome they show similar behaviors so please take the screenshot of the slide and we are moving ahead then now chromosomal theory of inheritance which has been given by shatton and bowery now if you see the diagram right what they have suggested they have suggested that one pair of chromosome this is the chromosome pair number 1 pair number 2 it is getting doubled first so making a pair of homologous chromosome that is first postulate right so this is after uh, s phase that is g2 so uh, they have make the pair of the chromosome now one is if i if if suppose i said one is parental and one is maternal so this is for example uh, maternal this is a paternal so maternal and paternal are arranged into the two different plane right so they are getting separated from each other during meiosis 1 and that is why it is called reductional division so one cell is getting only maternal and one cell is getting only paternal pair of genes so why it is reductional division we must know the reason ready so only maternal or paternal genes will be transferred so in one case only maternal in the other case only paternal genes are transferred if you see the diagram and after meiosis 2 the second division one pair of each homologous chromosome will be forwarded into either cells so total number of cells which are produced four from one cell so one from one cell we are producing four gametes after meiosis ready and this is how genes which are given into the first cell they have segregated themselves when they are forming the germ cell right so at the formation of germ cell they are getting segregated how the mechanism is shown by shatton and bowery right it was definitely explained by uh, what we say the earlier experiment right we or definitely have uh, explained it during mono hybrid cross of mendel and di hybrid cross of mendel as well but this is how they have explained with the proof that uh, this is a mechanism of how they are getting separated right or segregated so that's the process of segregation of a gene during gametogenesis fine so, and this is the diagrammatical representation which is given below as the form of the diagram Ready? Right. So please take the screenshot. Fine. If you see the diagram in uh, uh, in your textbook, uh, they have shown two possibilities there. In one possibility, uh, it is actually not proper into this diagram but uh, that's why i have uh, given the name uh, on the top the large chromosomes are orange yellow at the both end they are definitely 
uh, one is maternal one is paternal for example right so for example yellow is maternal and orange is paternal but the small chromosome if i if you observe in both the cases uh, in the case one green and red so green comes first and red the second in the case two you see red first and green second so it is not necessary all the times that orange is going to make pair only with green or yellow is going to pair with red only it may be the possibility that orange may get attached or may get paired with red and yellow may get paired with the green right so that's the possibility which can be shown by arrangement of mitotic plates at the time of division when mitotic plates are formed in meiosis 1 at that time if they are aggregated straight way or inverted this is a straight way right for in first case it is straight way and in case 2 it is inverted so in the case of inversion of arrangement reversing the arrangement the assortment will be changed right so gene number 1 which is on chromosome number 1 and gene number 2 that is on chromosome number 2 or if we see into this diagram larger chromosome and smaller chromosome so these large orange or these large yellow may get Uh, 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 get paired with either green or red depending on the arrangement they found during the mitotic plate which is formed ready so you see two kind of possibilities possibility number one is what uh, it can be the pair of orange and green as well or it can be the possibility that orange can pair with red and you can see either pairing of yellow red or pairing of yellow green so if arrangement is straight pairing of orange and green will be observed and yellow and red will be observed and if pairing will be inverted then orange will be paired with red and yellow will be paired with the green Fine. so that is what experimentally proved by shatton and bovary fine so please take the screenshot and then we move ahead fine uh let us move further ahead with a uh, morgan experiment uh, uh which actually is advanced proof of the chromosomal theory of inheritance um variation in the form of crossing over is proved by mendel and here what we are going to see or learn is the mechanism how morgan have proven those facts fine so principle of variation and principle of recombination it was the discovery of morgan and it is known as morgan's experiment now let us uh, let me introduce morgan first to you right so uh, uh, morgan hunt thomas hunt morgan sorry worked with fruit fly which is shown into the experiment right so here if you, you can see the fruit fly it is known as drosophila melanogaster so thomas 
Hunt Morgan worked with these fruit flies to prove the chromosomal theory of inheritance. Uh, you can see the photograph of T.H. Morgan which is given into the di diagram there. Now why Morgan's experiment is done by uh, Drosophila? As we have seen the various characteristic feature of pea plant right why pea plant is uh, used by uh, morgan uh, sorry uh, mendel it's a similar kind of the characteristic which are found into the drosophila by morgan so if you see the various characteristic feature which are uh, which have uh, actually um, attracted morgan to use drosophila for his experiment so drosophila breeds very quickly right and it has very short generation time that is life cycle of 12 to 14 days even shorter than pea plant and breeding can be done throughout the year so there is no single breeding season right hundreds of the progenies per mating can be possible and they can grow on a simple synthetic medium so uh, food or medium for them is not a limiting factor for growth and culture of the uh, the fruit flies male and female flies are easily di distinguishable right if you see the diagram which is given uh, here the male right they the male is shorter and the female is slightly bigger than that so by external characters you can recognize male and female very easily ready so uh, easily recognition is also one of the key factor and uh, it has many hereditary variations which can be seen with low power microscopes there contrasting characters in the other world right at the time of mendelian genetics we have talked about the contrasting characters seven different characters similar variation into the characters right that can be easily observed into the simple or low power microscope only so easily characters can be studied so these are the main reason why morgan has used the fruit fly for his experiment ready and please take the screenshot of the slide now mechanism of linkage and recombination which have been given by morgan in his experiment now what is linkage and what is recombination uh linkage is the association of two or more genes so it is joint venture association where genes tends to be remain together right into or onto the same chromosome it is called linked gene and this phenomena is called linkage they do not show independent assortment when they are forwarded from one generation to other they remains uh, with each other only and recombination means generation of non parental gene recombination which a, a combination cannot be found in either of the parent it is called recombination ready for example in dihybrid cross right you have seen that capital t capital uh, uh, round and yellow capital r capital r capital y capital y when we have cross with small r small r small y small y into the parental generation they have produced a fun generation as capital r small r capital y small y right when we have produced f2 generation they have four different type of progeny right 
round yellow round wrinkled green wrinkled oh, sorry mm. wrinkled and yellow and wrinkled and green like that so four types of uh, uh, progenies by their external character that is their phenotype these are phenotypes right so phenotypes four types of phenotypes you can find at the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 if you remember so this is found into parent this is found into parent but these are never found into the parent it is called non-parental gene combination and that is why it is said to be recombination ready so this kind of recombination also found so how this recombination can be possible that has been described so linkage and recombination these are the two phenomena which is given by T. H. Morgan that is Thomas Hunt Morgan we are going to see how this linkage and recombination is uh, produced by various experiment of Morgan into the next lecture so I'll see you into the next lecture with Morgan's experiment I'll see you then. Bye and have a nice time.